When radioactive substances carried by air, water, or snow are deposited on plants or soil, they can enter the food chain. Radioactivity can also be washed into rivers, lakes, and the sea, where fish and seafood could take up the radionuclides. People can ingest the substances directly or indirectly by eating meat and fish, which have themselves eaten contaminated substances. Through this ingestion pathway, people may still become contaminated, even though they do not live in areas under the plume from the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Or they may become contaminated after a lengthy period of time from the incident just by consuming radiologically contaminated foodstuffs. Should this happen, it will increase the amount of radioactivity a person is exposed to and could subsequently increase the health risks associated with exposure to radiation. Reports following the breakdown of the nuclear reactor in Japan suggest that some foods produced in the country are likely to be contaminated by radionuclides at levels unsuitable for human consumption. Food producers and consumers in Japan are those most immediately affected. However, there is no evidence yet that radioactivity from the nuclear power plant has contaminated food produced in any other country. Since then, Hong Kong's Center for Food Safety has tested around 1,500 food samples for radioactive materials. Three samples of white radish, turnip, and spinach were found unsatisfactory. They contained higher than acceptable levels of iodine-131, which decays within a matter of weeks, but according to the International Atomic Energy Agency, if ingested, can accumulate in and cause damage to the thyroid. They also contained cesium-137, which takes much longer to break down in the environment and can increase the chances of developing cancer. This substance caused widespread damage to the food supply after the Chernobyl disaster in 1986. According to Jeff Patterson, professor in the Department of Family Medicine at the University of Wisconsin, there is no safe level of radionuclide exposure, whether from food, water, or other sources. So what does that mean about fish harvested from Pacific waters? Fishermen in Ibaraki Prefecture, Japan's fifth largest seafood producer, halted operations last week after tainted fish were detected south of Fukushima. According to the US FDA, the great quantity of water in the Pacific Ocean rapidly dilutes radioactive material, so it is unlikely that fish and seafood will be affected. However, there is no certainty over currents or the directions in which fish swim. Professor Lam of Hong Kong University advises against eating all seafood from Japan and the North Pacific. The Hong Kong Customs and Excise Department has also selectively conducted radioactivity scans on general cargo imported from Japan, including medicine, cosmetics, and other household products. The scanning procedure might be extended to shipments from neighboring countries like Eastern China and Korea. The contamination level for cargo is set at 30 becquerels per square centimeter. So far, no checked cargo has exceeded this level.